He says that what separates East and West is, first of all, the fact that the peoples of the East never conceived the idea of liberty. Uh, the second point was about the East and West, and I thought that was interesting because I have read Confucius's um, The Analects, and it's one, I guess it's Confucius's main work. And Confucius, of course, is very important. I wouldn't call him a philosopher, but he's certainly the East's equivalent to a philosopher. And if you read his, um, same as Sun Tzu, Art of War to some extent, but definitely um, Confucius, the Analects, he doesn't talk about individualism and he doesn't talk about individual freedom. His main, if I could summarize it, his main point is really that if you are able, then you should serve your community in the in the sense of like a someone in the government, some kind of uh, councilman or whatever it might be, someone who sits on a committee to make decisions. Confucius's main point is that if you are able, then you should do that. You should serve your society in the in the form of some kind of government post. He doesn't talk about individualism. He doesn't talk about freedom. So just from those two examples, and I think those two texts are quite influential in, in Chinese uh, history, in Chinese thought, in Chinese way of life, and East Asian way of life, I guess, in general. Uh, you don't find you don't find a John Locke in the East. You don't find someone who's discussing, or a John Stuart Mill on liberty. You don't see someone discussing kind of the, the he doesn't even talk about the restraints of the government, really. Um, you don't see someone discussing those things. So I, I agree with Mises that the West, how the West is known is really for its eventual, its eventual protection of the individual. And he makes a few more points about East and West on page 103. So he says, but for the many centuries in the East has not generated any book of importance. And then later on he says, the reason is obvious. The East lacked the primordial thing, the idea of freedom from the state. The East never raised the banner of freedom. It never tried to stress the rights of the individual against the power of the rulers. Western society was a community of individuals who could compete for the highest prizes. Eastern society was an agglomeration of subjects entirely dependent on the good graces of the sovereigns.